Uh -huh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> At times, we all feel lost in search of something more. This is Christina Dam, and this is Liberate the Podcast, a podcast designed to help inspire and guide you forward through everything spirituality, creativity, art, and just giving you a sense of empowerment so that you can be powerful, be magical, and be free. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Liberate the Podcast. We are welcoming back Michaelis, a.k.a. the Greek guy. <laughs> Or lately, uh, the magic hand. Or the magic hand. So that's what actually we're going to be talking about today. Um, Michaelis has been a physical therapist back back when he lived in Greece, as well as worked through many different facets of physical touch, and now is a massage therapist. And being in working with people on a physical level, he's noticed that the physical touch is a way to have spiritual healing. So that's the topic today. Welcome, Michaelis, the great guy. <laughs> yes. Magic hands. Welcome, uh, Magic you. hands. <laughs> thank you for having me. And uh, Magic hands uh, was named by Christina. <laughs> uh, and don't don't think dirty, you guys. I see uh, where you're going. Magic hands, massage hands on the back. <laughs> so a little bit of background. I was a physical therapist back in Greece. Uh, and I came here to the United States to marry and uh, married uh, to my childhood sweetheart. And uh, then I was trying to work as a physical therapist, but uh, here the regulations are not so easy. <laughs> They're different, you know. Yeah. Like I mean, even for everything, you have to pay a price to get where you want to go. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean. <laughs> The different different countries and the different mm. what the standards are, but I mean, even across states, it's different for different things, you know. Yeah, and exactly. even like massage therapy, it's different between city to city and what the <laughs> ordinance is. Yeah. So you know, like. Uh, so I went to lately uh, to a massage school uh, to get to to acquire. That's the proper word. Excuse me, my language. Sometimes I get stuck. What you do? <laughs> so anyway, uh, I wanted to get back to my healing practice. So I he acquired the massage license uh, from uh, the CA California Massage Therapist Board. Okay. And uh, yeah, and I'm starting here at Liberate, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as a massage therapist to offer body work and uh, massage. Body work and massage, but also bringing mm -hmm. all of those years of experience doing mm -hmm. physical therapy. And it, I mean, you used to work with some of the soccer players and different yeah. things, you know. So, I mean, like, share a little bit about the experience in physical therapy that you had prior because, you know, yes, you may be newer to the massage world, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that you're not yeah. bringing in all of these other experiences. Well, since I was uh, I was remembering, I I was I like to fix things. Mm. Whatever is that, either physical like gadgets and stuff, or uh, human beings. Mm. So that's why it drove me to physical therapy, and not being able here to practice what I love, what I like, uh, it was a burden for me and uh, so there comes the massage school and uh, the ability to put everything that I know because back in Greece I was a physical therapist uh, for almost nine years and uh, numerous uh, uh, soccer teams and uh, basketball teams mm -hmm. uh, in fact uh, all I I've been to all the teams in my my hometown, excuse me, and and with some uh, pretty well known in Greece uh, athletes like I had the Olympic medalist in cycling. Oh wow! Uh, 
as a patient. I had the, the back then, the record holder in uh, butterfly swimming, who is a very good uh, <laughs> friend of mine, after all, <laughs> it turned out. And uh, numerous soccer players that uh, went uh, after me, uh, I didn't uh, do anything special to them, but uh, they had the talent and they went uh, to Europe and uh, well, you all around sure the world. Well, you make sure that they stayed put together so that they could mm-hmm. utilize that talent and get to that next level in their career and profession, yeah. right? Exactly. So, so I mean, so you, wide range from Olympic medalists and, mm-hmm. you know, record holders and different diverse sports teams and now infusing all of that with massage and spiritual healing. And where did you find that connection of the physical touch and spiritual healing? Well, uh, kudos to you, (laughs) because I found it here in Liberate. Uh, But I mean, you might have found it here in Liberate, but where did you put together those those kind of aspects of saying, aha, this leads to that, or, you know, if I'm working here, you know, this helps release trauma, or this helps release this, you know, like, where did you find that, that connection? Uh, it popped out in my head that, uh, because it starts from my belief, we are all energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, if you go inside, uh, uh, deep inside into my, uh, microcosmos, mm-hmm. you see the atom, which is basically an electron and a proton circling around mm-hmm. with nothing in between. And also electrons and protons, they have no mass mm-hmm. per se. So basically we can say that we are nothing, just energy. And the difference between me and this cup is just a different concentration of energy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and going really deep down the rabbit hole today, everybody. Are <laughs> yeah. you following this? Let's like look at it. But I mean, it's true yeah. though. Yeah. You know, like if you, you know, what's the difference between the electrons and protons that are circling here versus the ones that are circling here under a microscope when you go that far down, they look pretty identical. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Also, the same goes to the other side. If you go far, far away, Mm -hmm. you see the galaxies. The galaxies are the same, basically, the the same uh, pattern. Yeah, have you ever watched that YouTube video, 10 to the 10? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they go like, exactly. they go 10 to, ten x mi- magnification inward and then 10x magnification outward or vice versa, whatever it is. But as you see it go do, 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 you're like, wow, they look like identical. <laughs> yeah. And then you have uh, the first uh, uh, movie, the, how it was, uh, with uh, Will Smith uh, and the Aliens. I don't Men know. in black. Men in black. We are. You remember the last scene? You remember the last scene? The last scene. After the, tit- the ending titles, there was going from Earth up, up, up to the galaxy, up, 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 even more. And you see that you come out of the universe that we see as the universe, and it's just a ball for another alien that is bigger than this ball, and he was playing with this ball. <laughs> so it makes you wonder if everything in life is a cycle, mm-hmm. because there are where we're going, would, wouldn't that also be a cycle that we don't comprehend yet, we yeah. cannot understand? Back to the <laughs> magic hands. <laughs> yeah, I, <think laughs> just, I think it just made people's heads go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So As they start like, con- contemplating life and being like, well, maybe the pandemic and everything and all my problems, well, we're just this marble. or yeah. an alien. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if you go deep inside into microcosmos, again, you have something, uh, a proton, with an electron running around. Mm -hmm. If you see deep inside the proton, you have quants. 
and other uh, things that we cannot understand, we cannot see, and we cannot comprehend. What tells you that there is no life on a proton? Nothing. You just can't see it or you cannot understand it. So we don't know. Yeah. Well, we I mean, would, we could be and little... we will pro- Probably we will never know. Mm-hmm. We could be a little <laughs> ant ourselves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anywho, uh, back to the hands. Uh, the magic hands. <laughs> yeah. hands. We'll get into another episode of Liberate the Podcast where we go deep diving into let's make you feel like everything is nothing and nothing is everything. Mm. Good. I like that title <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the next podcast. And, uh, well, when we have an ailment, uh, emotional uh, uh, issues, uh, mind issues, pain, that means that somewhere the energy is stagnated. Mm-hmm. That's how I, I comprehend it. Okay. Even if a, a muscle is contracted like this, okay, that means that here you have less energy and here you have more concentrated energy. Okay. That also correlates with the Chinese uh, uh, philosophy that uh, is about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like acupressure and yeah, acupuncture? Yeah, acupressure, acupuncture. And uh, the meridians and the flow of the energy, the chi, and the yin and yang, and all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. So, a massage therapist, a physical therapist, uh, a doctor, what is trying to do is trying this muscle to release it. Yeah. Okay? So, you will not have pain. In order to release it, you can either take medication or you can go to uh, physically and start massaging it. Mm -hmm. The massage that you do is just basically helping the stagnated energy from this point to disperse, how you call it? Disperse. Disperse Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, balance. Yeah. Healing work and energy healing, the same thing. Mm -hmm. When an energy healer is going over the body and help cutting the cords, as I learned over here. I had no idea <laughs> about this stuff. When I came here, I was a non-believer. Like, okay, I'm coming with the... <laughs> slowly and slowly, while he was recording more and more stuff, he's like, yeah. I think that this, there might There's be There's something, something, something there. there. <laughs> like, yeah. People convulsing on the floor. And yeah, shaking. and Kundalini, yeah. <laughs> so... Basically, an energy healer is also a doctor that moves energy. With what? With his energy, with his mind will. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it with with my hands. Uh, Dustin, for example, that we're collaborating, uh, is doing it with uh, not touching, with Mm -hmm. his energy. He manipulates his energy somehow. I don't know how. I will learn though. <laughs> I will find out. <laughs> and is heal. It heals mm-hmm. the emotional uh, stagnated energy, emotional uh, mind issues. Which a lot of everything is linked to. You know, there's. Um, I think that for the people that are tuning in, if you've gotten a massage before, and maybe at some point you've had this or you know someone that has had this happen where you're laying down and they massage a certain part of your back or a certain area and you just feel like bawling or crying it's like what is Mm -hmm. that that wasn't you're not bawling from pain you're bawling from a release of energy and that energy that was enmeshed in Mm -hmm. that muscle or that tissue was actually some kind of emotion or imprint that happened to you in your life and that starts to release. A lot of times people will have different visuals, they'll think of different things that they haven't thought about in a long time, they'll think of different people that they haven't thought about, you know, and they'll pop in the mind. I don't think that there's a coincidence to anything, right? Exactly. And so as you work towards, you know, 
on a journey of spiritual healing, right? It's, it's, it's healing yourself at the deepest level so that in my belief system, so that you can evolve and become an even more enlightened and developed soul, right? Um, now mm-hmm. there's healing from past and healing from trauma, but then it's also like on that, where does that healing, the past and the healing trauma come into place is that then you get to be you and mm-hmm. then you get to grow and then you get to expand and then you get to become more. Exactly. And everything is to balance the chakra. Mm-hmm. What, how you balance the chakras? By shifting the energy and give to the crown chakra a little bit more energy that she needs, it needs or she needs or what? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the crown they, needs. They need. <laughs> they need. Okay. Or to the ground chakra or uh, to the heart chakra. And you balance the energy throughout the body. And this is how you heal people. Yeah. Everything that we do is towards that. Yeah. So, yeah. So I like it. And <laughs> and talk to everybody a little bit about um, the collaboration that you're going to be doing with different healers that, you know, one of the things is, is that, of course, you know, just getting a massage is healing. Mm-hmm. And they can, people can do one-on-one services with you for massage. That's going to have that release, that that shift on that that happens on the physical that translates to the emotional and also spiritual, spiritual. level, and then, then though you're really doing this pretty cool hybrid where not only is somebody getting a massage, but exactly there's so, a few different elements that you're in, infusing together, right? So talk about all the elements that you're kind of bringing into the room and of this kind of immersive transformation experience. As uh, my first uh, patient named it, it was a spa in an hour. So what what I thought about it is that if I have 25% or 30% ability to heal with just the massage, what if I put more into this? Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about how I thought and combined (laughs) uh, all the energies that we can get. What I mean by that, uh, in my sessions, I incorporated, I uh, combined, as I said, with Justin, but uh, also with other healers from energy healers from here in uh, at Liberate. Uh, in order to provide a holistic approach to healing. So while I'm doing massage mm-hmm. and I'm touching the body, okay. that's one sense. I also have the energy healer, Justin or Kimberly or uh, uh, Carol, uh, doing Reiki energy healing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> excuse me as well as uh, binaural bits okay which is frequencies that combined into your uh, brain binaural bits are uh, known uh, to provide uh, energy balancing uh, calming and focusing uh, um, effects on the body they immediately take away all of the um, chatter in the mind they Mm -hmm. bring you to a stillness and so releasing any stress anxiety or that overactive mind that a lot of people have that Mm -hmm. prevents them from really just embracing an experience they're they're thinking about what they're doing later what they have to get done or what just happened or whatever the case may be and it's like a ping pong machine instead of uh, you know yeah just being (laughs) so okay and also aromatherapy, because all our memories, all our emotions, they, uh, from what I learned, they are uh, cemented in our brain through smell. Okay. Uh, 
and it's a it's a holistic let's say approach to to that sentiment that people have not sentiment I, I didn't use the right word I get what you're Darn. saying though but so like basically mm-hmm. you're looking at you know we have these five basic basic senses and then in the mm-hmm. spiritual realm there's that sixth sense that a lot of people talk mm-hmm. about so you're you're combining four different of the senses that you can't I mean people are blindfolded so they can't really have their sight you know um, but you know or they're face down or whatever the case may be but if you're taking away that you're 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 having sound mm-hmm. you're having smell you're having physical touch and then you're grabbing into the ether that sixth sense and 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 manipulating the energy and, as well and you said that they have their eyes covered mm-hmm. when you have your eyes covered you doesn't stop to 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 see yeah you just see with your mind's eye exactly so you have sight you indulge the the sight uh, uh, viewing because when you have aromatherapy in the room, like uh, the aroma, uh, they remind you subconsciously of happy or uh, uh, happy memories. It brings you happy memories, mm-hmm. which you see with your mind's eye. <laughs> so. Yeah. So you're kind of creating this immersive experience where Mm -hmm. you're taking, instead of getting like, to use your words, instead of like giving a healing that would maybe affect the person 25% and they'd walk out and they'd feel better and they'd have um, a, a lot of benefits from it. But you're taking that a few steps further and you're saying, okay, well, besides that, Mm -hmm. let's bring in an energy healer. Mm -hmm. Besides that, let's allow for the binaural beats to slow down their overactive mind, put them back Mm -hmm. into mental balance. So almost like they're doing a meditation in a way, but it's just reconnecting and realigning. And then you're bringing in smells that are activating emotions that are causing memories of bliss or joy or, or whatever else, or even just the different essential oils that you might use that evoke that. Exactly. So the next step is for you guys, to come in to liberate and have a reading in the beginning which will tell you it's like the diagnosis of what you, your ailments are then you go to our practice with energy healing uh, and you get through the back door or the front door it depends how the flow goes where, where, a new where? person <laughs> yeah so basically you know, it's, a, mm-hmm. it's having people come in and if you're, you know, like wanting to have a different experience, but understanding the importance of of the physical mm-hmm. in its gateway towards the healing. Exactly. The healing on both an energetic and emotional and then that can happen with or without the other three aspects, right? You know, but then incorporating some of the other aspects, it's like really, you know, if 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 I may, it's saying like, this is for somebody that really wants change, right? Mm-hmm. You know, exactly. they're ready. Let's have it. Let's have it fast. Let's have it intense because I'm ready to transform. And uh, healing the mind, healing the spirit is the most important because everything else, the body will follow. Mm-hmm. So basically my technique, my combination, because it's not my technique, I just thought about it and uh, is using the body to heal the mind so the mind can heal the body you enjoying this so far did you forget to subscribe make sure to do so takes two seconds just press that little button the red one you know the one just press it little like all right enjoy the rest of this content and we're 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 unilaterally connected. So mm-hmm. what does that mean? You know, or bilaterally, I mean, I guess not unilaterally. Mm-hmm. Um, so what does that mean? So they've done many different studies where they find that your physiology affects your emotional or mental state and vice versa. Mm-hmm. So that literally people can fake smile and they will actually start to produce more serotonin and dopamine. Like in, in so you just lock around like this mm-hmm. before you know it 
you, you know, because there's this cross wiring that goes on, chicken before the egg, the egg before the chicken, your mm -hmm. body can invoke and shift your mind and your mind can shift your body, right? Mm -hmm. um, you might notice that if you, if I, you, if I was to describe like a, a depressed person, you could already tell me what their body posture is, yeah, right? Like, it's probably sludged over, right? Exactly. And and the lower, are they looking down? They're probably not looking up. Their shoulders are probably curved. You can give me an image because you've recognized that, right? Just like if you if I gave you and said, think of a confident person, what are you going to think of? Oh, somebody up and standing somebody, tall. Yeah, and because you've experienced this so many times, right? And so that's the power of, you know, and say, okay, well, don't I need to change this first to change that? You say, no, well, if you change the physical, like literally just sitting more straight up makes you more alert. Yeah. Um, smiling will cause happiness to start to occur on a, on a chemical level. And it's not that, just that. Smiling is the most important, uh, yeah, the most important expression of a human being. Why? When you see somebody smiling, you hey, I'm smiling. <laughs> I'm smiling too. This is the way to spread the, the love, spread happiness. Spread love, spread happiness. We need a lot yeah. more of that. Yeah, definitely exactly. in this world. And uh, basically, this is a landslide. When you we go a little bit to the rabbit hole, to the other rabbit hole right now. <laughs> it's very important for everybody when you wake up to have happy thoughts. There are three questions. I don't remember the three, but I remember the first question. What I am that you ask every morning that you, you wake up for a happy life? What I'm longing this day for what I'm looking forward in this day mm -hmm. to happen. That makes you excited that you woke up and it brings you to a, a better day. Yeah. If you start your day with looking at the news, or which usually as depressing as, as it gets. Usually. <laughs> usually. Yeah, I, I don't know that. It is. I don't know anybody uh, spreading happy, <laughs> happy thoughts. If you wake up in the morning and you, the first thing is grab the phone, which everybody does, and don't tell me that you don't. Grab the phone. Oh, how many mails? How many texts? Oh, what's the news? Damn! Did the former president said that? Oh, the current president said that. Shh. Sure. Immediately, you're thinking, what I'm going to do in this life? Yeah. Somebody else controls my uh, my life or how I live. Uh, yeah. Immediately, you get whoop. Then, you go through the day and you look only at the bad things that happens to you. And everybody is like, oh, this is done to me. No, it's not done to you. You did it to yourself. Yeah, no victim when, mentality. Take yeah, ownership. You exactly. showed up. You allowed that person in your life. You created that relationship. You, whatever, whatever, whatever. You applied for that job. You Take responsibility up. You for showed, your actions. You showed and up for decisions. that interview. You continued to work yeah. at that place. I mean, like, you know, you went to school and studied X amount of years for that profession. I mean, we can go on and on, right? <laughs> But the bottom line, yeah, I love that. Another mm -hmm. one, um, I, I've never heard of just like the three, but I know that mm -hmm. is a good one as well as expressing what you're grateful for and what you, um, what you're like, yeah, yeah, you know, remembering the things. Gratitude. That you, yeah, gratitude as well. Uh, whenever you invoke, what are you happy in your life for? It immediately lifts you up. Mm-hmm immediately you feel because you remember everything is memories yeah okay i remember oh i had with christina the other day a very nice walk with the doggies up in the park nice well and, and you know that there's things about your life that you know so you're taking control of your life you're getting excited about your day 
and you're living in a space of gratitude where you're appreciating what it is that you do have instead of filling your mind with a lack mm -hmm. and saying what you don't have, you're training your mind to say, look at all the things that I do have. Look at how blessed I truly am, right? Exactly. And so that's great. And if we knew the third one, but then we'll start with those two and I'm sure you can fill uh, We will uh, ping it down in the description <laughs> below. Or you can come over here to Liberate and learn all about it. Absolutely. But yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's all about, you know, and knowing that as we heal, there's always more to heal, right? There's new layers, right? There's new, always new levels on M life. And so it's kind of like, I like to say that we're constantly playing whack-a-mole and that's okay. Mm -hmm. When you realize that, that, you know, you might feel better and come in and get an amazing massage or spa, like a service experience through all the immersive experience with McAllis and a healer. Or just get a massage or get a healing or whatever you your your, your floats your boat but you can walk out and be like wow like my back pain's gone or i feel more in alignment or i feel more grounded in myself and then you walk out the room and you go and you do life and something else might happen right you know mm -hmm. you're you might have healed that aspect in in uh in your physical body but then something hits you in your financial or something hits you in the emo you know and then we're we're just you know but Without problems, there's no growth. Show me a life without problems, and I'll show you somebody that's in the grave. Yeah. You know, like, exactly. I mean, but you, I would hope that everybody wants problems because it means growth. It means you're alive. When you have problems, you're seeking the solution to your problems. Yeah. By seeking and educating yourself about how can I make myself better, you progress in life. Yeah. You you learn something new. You you move forward. Change something. You change. Yeah. And I think there's just so much negative connotation with problems, right? Mm -hmm. Or pain. And if you just look at it as opportunity or challenges, and challenges doesn't seem to well, there's a challenge. I'm, I'm, I'll take on the challenge. People like like to look at challenge as a positive, but problem is a negative. But mm -hmm. just mirror them together. Say whatever, whatever. English is the wordiest language in the world with 65,000 words. We don't need this many, <laughs> so get rid of them. The next language in line has like, I think like a third less, you know, so mm. two thirds of what we do. So other people get along <laughs> just fine without less word or with yeah. less words. <laughs> So, Michaelis, where can people find you? Everywhere. In the universe. <laughs> so, people can find me here at Liberate, and basically that's it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, finding, so, finding Michaelis through our website at mm -hmm. liberateyourself.com. Mm -hmm. um, also, if it, Make sure to like and subscribe this video so more people can find me see. and can have find healing. Like, he did my line, so until <laughs> then, have a good, good time, and come in and see us transform your life. We're here to serve you. Bye. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this conversation, please like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. If you want to hear more about what we have going on and happening online or in, in the neighborhood, check out liberateyourself.com and sign up for our mailing list. Uh, also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Liberate Yourself. It's you are self. You are S-E-L-F. Until next time, be powerful, be magical, and be free.